Hi everyone, I just want to give you a quick overview of boning tape that we have in stock at Sokovi. It has to be quick because otherwise it takes forever to load up to YouTube. So here we have herringbone twill tape, so called because it's got a twill weave that goes in two directions or three. This is 10 mil, 15 mil, 25 mil. These are very uh, firmly woven non-stretch stiff tapes that are nice and smooth and thin. They're not like the antique tapes because those don't exist anymore but they are really good for corsetry and this is what they look like in a corset. I've used the 25mm boning tapes on this particular corset and I've got a double channel out of those with 7mm bones. I've also used the 25mm boning tape for the busk facing. This is a genuine antique detail. The next type of boning tape that we have is called tubular bone casing. So called because it is tubular, the bone goes right through the middle of it. This is uh, much more expensive than the herringbone twill tape. Uh, it's good for different things, it's good for a luxury finish, it's good for when you are doing an online corset, it is good for when you want that extra layer between the outside of the corset and the boning. Uh, it's very smooth and it has a very very fine um, basket weave. It's got these uh, tracks that you can see on the sides here, which makes it very, very easy to sew onto your corset if you're not used to precision sewing. I particularly like these for when you're sewing with pale fabrics because they do a very good job of camouflaging the bones uh, underneath pale fabrics, which would otherwise be seen. So you can't see that there but if we different type of boning channel would go you can clearly see that gray shadow there from the bone so this is uh, really really good for corsets that aren't going to be lined and corsets where you need an extra layer without bulk the next type of boning that i use quite a lot of in my own work is cotille boning and i make this from the leftovers of when I've cut a corset pattern out of say half a meter, quarter of a meter of cotille, there's always enough to get a few two and a half centimeter strips of cotille. These are cut on the straight grain or the cross grain, not the bias. And then I use the prim bias binding maker to quickly make some nice tubes of cotille boning tape. It's a bit fiddly to start with, but you soon get the hang of it. When you've run that through the bias maker with your iron, you get a nice non-stretch channel like this. It's open at the back. That makes a, a really great boning channel. Here's one I've made of uh, plain cotille on the cross grain again completely non-stretch lovely uh, even shape and here's another one that I have made from the thickest cotille and the most expensive which is um, coloured spot broche and that makes a lovely boning channel as well it's just wide enough for the seven mil bones and this is what it looks like uh, in practice really lovely there's the outside there's the inside